Hello everyone. Our guest today is Mr. Arjun Singh Gehlot. He is the director at the Ambience Group. The Ambience Group oversees five-star hotels, malls, residential projects, commercial towers and schools. He is very hard working and very focused, just like his father wanted him to be. Let's dive into his life and look at his love for cars, golf, work and everything in between. I welcome you to the show sir. Thank you so much. Uh how are you doing like for real how are you doing? I'm oh, good. I'm complete. Avoiding covid, living life. The covid has come back. It's more of a minor flu now. But I think everyone's getting the hang of it. Two days out dolo, you have to work. Yeah. So you you are a real inspiration to a lot of people in the real estate sector. Uh how does your you know regular day go? Like what is what what do you do like throughout the day? It's a very simple schedule that I have. Early morning, six thirty, I get up. I have my son gets up. Then I sit with him. He gets ready for school. I go with him, drop him to school. Then it's a good one hour walk slash jogging session at Nehru Park. Come back home, get ready, and have breakfast with my father. My brother and my father have breakfast at nine thirty sharp. So that's our morning brief him to him, and then it's office as usual. Ten o'clock, the day starts at office. Five five thirty, get up from office normally. Then it's back home. Then I spend time with family. Usually, take my son for golf. Come back home. I have an early dinner around seven thirty eight. Call it a day at ten. Great. Yeah. Since you uh, you know mentioned your son, how was your childhood like? Childhood was very simple, fun. Like every other kid. I had tension about homework was the most top priority. That playing with friends, keeping it simple, enjoying cartoons. Wonderful. Which which school did you go to? I went to DPS Arkhipur. Oh, wonderful! Yeah. And after that, what did you do for your education after that? After that, I pursued chartered accountancy, oh. and I did my BCom honors from the Alsin College. Oh. That was pretty much it. That kept me occupied. The major portion of my time used to be dedicated to CA. One that article ship so five years went in that. Wonderful. We've recently uh, learned that you did your computer your law as well. Yes, I did. And how did that come across? Like how did that come to you? My father actually started the course uh, in 2019. So when he completed his first semester, he told me to give it a shot. Kind of went for it. Nothing is, uh, you know, nothing specific that why I want to do it, what I want to do. It, it's interesting. I uh, learned about law in CA also. So I had that inquisitiveness. I'd seen some lawyers while doing business. I learned that, you know, it's a good uh, advantage to have. So started pursuing it. And uh, God gave us COVID. Yeah. During that, it was all lockdowns. So had uh, online classes. So kept me busy during COVID as well. So I think it was a God set sign. Understood. Do you look at it as a certification of you having the degree, or you could have just you know read the books and you know uh, uh, gotten to know about what law is, how? See, you you can do that. You can read the books, get the knowledge. At the end of the day, knowledge is what matters. But when you're doing it academically, when you're doing it. Uh, in the course, when you know you have to give exams, then the dedication is totally different. So, uh, coming coming to, you know, finally coming to Ambience Group. Yes. How has the journey been? How, when did you enter into the business? And how has it been for, the, for you? So, as I told you, 2007 is when I completed school. Yeah. So, after that, uh, May 2007, I gave my exams for uh, C, the first exam. And uh, I got the grades, I cleared it. And then there was a time period where you have to undergo uh, article ship, the internship. All right. So I started office then. So 2008 or May, I started office. So that is when it all started. BCom was being pursued side by side. It was a lot to pursue both. Too much on the plate, I think. No, I never thought of it like that. I never uh, let that thing get to my head. Chalrata. Okay. But what kind of a kid were you in school? Like, how would how would your teachers describe you? Borderline nerdy. 
online. Yes. But yes, I was never the topper in my class, not even close. Averaged around 70% or so during my school life, except 10th and 12th when it mattered. Okay. So yes, the rest of the classes I had fun. I enjoyed my school life. Used to hang out with friends. Music was a big part of my school life. Music, theater. Used to be involved in all these extracurricular activities. So school life was fun. That's great. Yeah, that's great. Uh, as a fact, Ambient Small in Gurgaon specifically uh, has been able to retain its uh, you know, number one position for quite some time now. And it's been so many years that the mall has been operational. Uh, how have you been able to you know pull that off? We would really like to know that. Again, as I told you about C, I never let it get to my head about the pressure of you know something being number one or pressure of being at the top. Or uh, it was always that you know do your best. That is what my father always told me that whatever you do, just give it your best. Uh, things will come to you. It's uh, it's the very old saying of the Gita, if I would say. Give it your best. The mall also, you know, and never thought of it that, you know, I have to be number one or not. It was just that, you know, give, give the best customer experience. Everything that you experience inside the mall, view it from a customer's point of view. Do you like it? Would you be happy seeing it? Are you satisfied with yourself? Just thought of it like that. I agree to that, sir. Yeah, I agree to that. That's the basic mantra. So what 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 future plans are there for Ambien specifically in uh, at work? What are your future plans? How do you see you know future coming up uh, coming to you? Future seems to be exciting now that you know. Well, as a more if I would say I got the hang of it now. Yeah. So the future is to develop a few more malls, build a few more hotels, build some offices, build some residential. Those are the key verticals that we have. Yeah. Apart from that, schools are also something that we're looking into. We have two schools. Yeah. yeah. So SD and Gurgaon. Yeah. Getting into that also. It's a new venture for me at least. It's uh, interesting to learn about that industry as well. And it's fun to interact with all the kids and that's kind of reliving your school life all over again from a different perspective. I agree, sir. I think I think education and healthcare are the new sectors which are really growing. Yes. And, uh, you know, uh, anybody getting into these businesses is a great add-on. Definitely is. But education, we do it more of a, I would say, like a philanthropy because my dadaji was a school teacher. Oh, so wonderful. Austin Yal Singh was his name. So we have the society in his name. So it is more of, you know, fulfilling that passion. He always uh, had this special support for education and spreading knowledge. So school wing is, our school uh, wing is just to fulfill his dream. And One. take it further. Once. One. Coming back to the mall. Yes. Like whenever a brand approaches you, be it, you know, retail or F&B, what do you think about it? What do you think about it? What do you think about it? That you, you know, are convinced enough to give them a space at your mall? See, the cliche answer is sales. What are your sales at other stores? What is your size? What is your balance sheet look like? What is your capital like? But that is, you know, I don't pay too much attention to that. But what I would like to understand is the promoter behind the brand. Who's running it? Yeah. What's his mentality like? And something that is non-quantifiable is the vibe of the brand. If it resonates, if I have a gut feeling that it would work or not. That is, well, you can't measure it, yeah. but that is something that is very important. I get it, I get it. So, like what, what all brands do you think are, you know, uh, doing the right thing in the country right now? We've recently seen a lot of new brands, uh, international brands, uh, you know, uh, getting spaces at your malls, opening yeah. great outlets, great shopping uh, experiences. Do you, so I, I, I want to ask you this, that, you know, uh, what what brands do you think are really nice? I think there's been a good influx of international brands as well as domestic brands are picking up and are establishing themselves really well. International brands, I'd say, you know, there's the Zara's. Zara is almost unbeatable in its segment. And, uh, but yes, uh, brands like H&M are, you know, evolving. They are... Uh, really doing new things that are very exciting. 
and uh, similarly uniqlo is you know set making a space of its own someone who's a big uniqlo fan i don't think so the word of the very simple functional people is what i would say so yeah. these are good brands apart from that yes victoria secret is that we have had their first store in wasan kunj i think they got in a great response yeah. people were waiting for that to come yeah. so these brands have a cult following they have so much star power that uh, you know whenever they open people just flock to them like apart from that yes furniture brands are also oh, yeah really uh, picking up the pace after covid everyone you know now is focusing on what they have inside their house and they're really redoing their houses so yeah, i think it's a good space for them as well yeah i agree yeah okay. and i think domestic brands uh, i'd have to take the name of a uh, women wear brand called malman I think it has green product. Ones like uh, Chic, also Fet. They are more uh, really evolving according to their times and responding well to the customer needs. I think being a local brand again, a local promoter, and the person behind the brand being from India itself, they know they understand the needs better. You know, I think at the end of the day, a brand has to deliver to what the customers require, what the mood of the season is, what the mood of the people is. I think then they have a slight advantage there. They can understand the market in a better way. So it's pretty good for them. So I think I think homegrown culture has recently, you know, kicked in very well into people's lives. Yes, and uh, a lot of brands are upcoming brands are you know uh, they're all you know everything is done within the country. and the great brands the products are such nice products and uh, they're doing really well i think uh, they are all I, i mean after this uh, show there will be a lot of brands homegrown brands will be coming in and asking for a space oh definitely uh, i think currently also we have a lot of queries people i think the retail market is in a good phase right now yeah the old apprehension of covid post covid i think that is gone now that has been addressed we are in a kind of a very secure spot if i may say all people have you know really gotten back to the malls people have come back to the experience mm-hmm. so, yeah i think we're in a good spot right wonderful yeah. wonderful to show up thoda sa aapki personal life ki taraf leke jate hain uh, do you have a mentor yes my father wonderful tell you tell us about it simple man uh loves the reading now he's working hard I and mean, I wish I could work hard like him I try so yeah the uh, very very simple I mean people might have some other notion about him but the most simple life a person can live I think he does that connected to the roots and uh, yeah I mean I appreciate everything about it wonderful yeah wonderful so but uh, like a lot of business men uh do you also find it difficult uh, to balance your work life uh thing I, mean, i don't know what others but no i wouldn't say so again my father has taught me that that when you come back to the house you have to leave the office behind so once you leave office you should be content that you know you gave your 100% during the day you finish whatever you could during the day there are some things that take time Rome wasn't built in a day. But everything yeah. happens in one day. You have your good days, you have your bad days. But when you go back home, you should dedicate all your time to your family. I agree, sir. You need your own personal time as well. Half an hour, one hour. You should take out some time for yourself during the week also. But yeah, work-life balance. You have your ten to five. You have your okay. You have some extra work. Go go to office one hour before. Or come back one hour later. But when you step out, then you do step out. Then you don't have to, you know. kind of take back baggage from the office to home that should not happen like yeah like do you do you prioritize your health over work i think health is very important post covid everyone learned that you know you need to be in a good shape yeah. so as to fight off anything i have that's... started i have started uh, going to the gym it's been 8 months now that's and uh, i've been trying in you know and you were one of these those inspirations who you know uh, led me into it as well happy i led you to the gym but yes what i believe in do some activity one should do some activity it's not necessary i mean it's good that you went to the gym but it's not necessary you go to the gym you, okay. you go for a walk you do some activity you play some sport 
keep on switching but keep yourself active is what i believe eat well keep yourself active keeps the mind fresh keeps in a good mood i agree yeah so that is important so i hope i continue doing it for quite some time and push you whenever i can <laughs> so on your social media accounts we see uh, a lot of love for cars yes tell us about it my social media account is only for cars i i have that thing that you know i don't want to mix work with social media that some people usually have you know the different image on theirs on social media i yeah. am not bonded with all that so for social media instagram is what i use and it's only for my hobby for cars or let's say watches just for fun but we recently saw we recently saw you uh you know doing a lot of farming as well yes uh that is I mean, how did that come covid so covid i i would say you know yes it was a horrible period for mankind but when the lockdown started i thought that you know staying at home if you don't do anything you would actually drive yourself and your wife crazy right yeah and uh, it would not be a good thing to do that yeah so kind of you know just uh, read about it read about uh, hydroponics okay okay and again uh, because originally i'm from haryana so hmm. my village is near sonipat so one since childhood we used to visit our village in a year we do go there twice or thrice sometimes less sometimes more so always saw that i always had that love for the fields uh my tauji used to take us to the fields we used to actually go you know skinny dipping in tubes okay. brothers <laughs> yeah so yeah that that was fun so it was always there i had that love for it earlier pre covid everything was you know going on was too busy it didn't have time to you know understand it but during covid got some time read about it started some basic uh, you know uh, microgreens oh hone so started off from there wonderful broke the notion that it can't be done or it's too tough mm-hmm. so kind of one thing led to the other microgreens led to hydroponics hydroponics led to you know planting small seeds in pots at home wonderful um so that since since you mentioned hydroponics i would uh, request you to you know tell our audience that what what exactly hydroponics are so hydroponics is growing plants in water on okay. with water as the main uh, resource and the uh, roots growing in water so it's soilless farm okay so there's no soil there is absolutely no soil involved in that so you put a seed you put a seed in a growing medium it can be either coco peat or you know uh, these uh, small clay balls or a foam so you sprout the seed and the roots are suspended in water so okay. you add the nutrients to the water to the water okay. yeah so there's a aeration pump also to it that adds some oxygen to the water okay. and you add your nutrients those can be you can find them on amazon okay so you just keep on adding them on water it's a learning curve you keep slowly you know you work with the simple things yeah okay. so I, when i was doing microgreens those also you know right hydroponically so okay. those were those were the first steps so okay. you get to know because uh, there are three main nutrients npk okay it during uh, growing microgreens you we generally need uh, uh nitrogen okay so it's much easier because in the blooming stage you need other uh nutrients so try this one try yeah. slow or yeah. slow so one thing led to the other and uh, hydroponics i think is a very interesting thing to do especially in india when i mean, give you a very small example this recent rains that happened yeah i lost approximately 12 acres of standing wheat crop yeah. okay so, that's sun you know, with with global warming coming in with the changing seasons coming in i think it is important that we explore these new avenues of agriculture also and i'll be honest farmers are not in a good state uh, in the country Thank just you. because you know uh, there are so they're not that well worst about where they can sell their produce so the produce actually when a farmer sells it he absolutely gets nothing out of it it's mostly a loss making avenue for her and i think i think farmers are the uh, key people uh, who oh, yes. run our country 
especially our country they put the food on the plate that is what matters without that exactly. i don't think so everyone you me everyone here yeah. uh, we work for food and they are the ones who take care of it so and that's one industry which is connected to all the 150 crore people in the country i agree sir. it has no bigger industry there is no more important industry and it is what i, I think everyone in the family of a person is somewhere connected to agriculture mm. someone let's say chacha tao mama someone some one person is connected to agri yes so it's quite important and now i think exploring organic is what the world is also doing i agree it is good it is i think with the gen z also taking interest in the nutritional value of food eating healthy right. it is important that some people pay attention to it that's fine it that's keeps you it's a very happy feeling that you get then you harvest your protein so even a small plant or a micro green also in a seed you know when you harvest it's a completely different satisfaction that you get i'm sure nothing matches i'm sure i'm sure gaadi kaun si liye latest bush car and gts completely jet one of what did it way back took took a year to come oh uh, that long yes uh, it took a while clear they did not have allocations fought for it got it now recently i learned that the new kind they're not even launching these models so okay now was the last of its kind and with internal combustion engines now going away should collect whatever best engines you can find is what i believe i agree yeah i agree sir aur iske baad kya kuch kuch hai aisa jispe already nazar aa gayi hai aapki hey that's a, that's a passion that's uh, you know setting these small goals for yourself it's not necessary that i will buy a car or i have to buy a car i've never let it get to that stage but yes he this as a internal goal for my sense you know some what like a person who told that you yeah. have to work hard yeah. if i achieve this or if i achieve this person milestone then i think i've been gifted to myself is what i believe when I mean, you have to earn it to drive it but there's no compulsion that no i have to have it and there's no compulsion that yet to you as a big picture बट इतनी सारी अच्छी अच्छी गाड़ियाँ हैं तो उसके लिए आपको चलाने का मौका मिलता है आपके ड्राइवर माई किड्स मोटिवेट में बिकॉज अर्लियर आई यूज टू बी द कार बफ एट माई होम बट नाउ वेन माई किड्स आर ग्रोन माई सन इज एट माई नेफ्यू इज नाइन यंगर वन इज फाइव ओके एंड माई डॉटर ऑल्सो शी इज फाइव they are well bigger car buffs than me now <laughs> had to happen so yes they kind of uh, now take care of the cars oh wonderful earlier i used to drive them okay but now when you're mostly busy monday to saturday is all working yeah so kabhi kabhi saturday go you take out one but because of the traffic it yeah. hota nahi to sundays are the main days but uh, yeah now the kids take care of it so what they get go out at uh, 8 am on a saturday and as they drive it start this car is me chakkar ka to they do that yeah so all four of them are handling all the cars <laughs> so it's for them okay. it's going to be collector pieces for them but have you have you taken them uh, again these cars that you own uh, to far off places to travel no i actually haven't taken them out of delhi okay yeah i mean highways usually when they travel those are in big groups so okay um, the whole family travels together 14 15 16 people are the smallest groups that we go in okay. okay so then you can't take them out i mean it's more of a hassle because of the roads uh kuch ho na jaye now that you have kids also the mess of the interiors which it's i'm sure no i'm sure yeah. but do you like generally like traveling yes i love traveling so when where, where was the last that you went i just went to rishikesh last is month no well actually went to amdavad but i was for a marriage but traveling is something that i love new experiences oh it's fun to see new spaces see new food meet new people and i think when the wife also loves it so wonderful so that's that's only that's only traveling within the country or do you go out as well good most of them post covid we have been uh, mostly traveling in india but now the covid situation has settled broadly so yeah. now we are thinking that if i will travel abroad because My daughter was also very young. Yeah. So now when she's five, my do- son is eight. It makes more sense. They'll remember all the things that they see. Yeah. 
so yeah but traveling abroad is also fun i agree i agree so to some of the podcast uh, do you have any suggestions for uh, the upcoming uh, real estate professionals work hard i mean what, what do you want them to do there is no me being one of them be, be very you know be detail oriented okay get into the details and again as i said my father's my mentor these are all his sayings that look into the details be very specific be inquisitive just don't take things as they come ask questions why is it so how can it be better what hmm. can i do how can i add value to it hmm. so if you have that drive in you that you always want to make things a little better add that extra 1 2% x% to it i think that is what it is and there is no substitute for hard work hmm i agree get that i mean don't let things bog you down you'll have your good days you'll have your bad days we all have this. yeah so you know in your bad days try to lift yourself up i agree what to yourself i agree you said how to vision is the key yes it is you have to you can have to kind of talk to yourself like go oh, yeah Tell let's fix it again yeah that yeah. is what you have to do yeah and for the uh, upcoming retail and fnb brands that are coming uh, what are your suggestions get better rent and refresh <laughs> well, i like to know but yes uh, i think uh, the more they are also in for closely with the more teams is what is required for them is one more store but for us that is the store so you know uh, they do help and they do participate but yes more participation more close communication action i think in help serve the customer better is what i think Like at the end of the day, we have to be customer driven. We have to keep that as a priority. I agree. The more we do, the less it is. I agree. A lot of F and B brands are also coming up. Yes. Uh, do you have your interest in that uh, sector as well? I do. We have a new space coming up in VK for F and B. So we need to wonder. We are adding quite a few F and B brands over there. But again, uh, being very selective. Okay. And thank God that we have the option of. being selected yeah. i have that any queries but yes again the focus is on quality the focus is on giving the customer a great experience something that's never been seen before yeah and i think uh, fnb overall you know it's taken a big leap after covid experience driven uh, food outlets are coming up it has yeah and new cuisines are being uh, offered so that's quite an exciting space and we're pretty excited about it thank you so much for being with us It was Thank a you. pleasure having you here. It was a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you.